main filter for that uh, my main dot xml so i'm just running the main dot xml so so what it, it will create it will create one text file here uh, html file rpfd.html file just let me open that so it will show that uh, the flow of the each and everything so you can see this is the first stage so this stage you can see the tooltip this is just started the reading the out, outlook means it will read the outlook means see the tooltip now 5 mails out of 16 mails so 10 mails out of 16 mails 15 mails out of 16 mails so it's a keep on reading the outlook mails the outlook mail the first stage is completed the next stage is reading the all the iphone data from the website so flip the website so i think it's also done so now it is creating that the this folder based on the all the c here it is creating the folders you can observe the tool tip in the in this so nine folders created out of 24 so if you see 14 folders created out of 24 24 hours created out of 24 so if you see my mail mail currently is empty primarily so once this is a send mail to the boss so it's completed so i think so let me check my mailbox okay all process completed this this is a sending mail so this is a robotic process flow diagram is a one html page it dynamically it created based on the uh, that rf custom activity that is a robotic process process flow diagram rpft rpft is the custom activity so you can what it is it is like a white line activity or white log activity see rpfd so you are in inside the rpfd there is a state change let me go to this initially you have to declare the one dictionary that is a dictionary i declare the string string dictionary so here i declared after that you can add the values to the dictionary the dictionary name dictionary variable name and the stage name which it will come here the stage name you can add any number of stages so the envelope dot hyphen open is a, a font awesome font awesome icon the icon of the envelope so the second stage is reading all the mails but flip dot png you can give the uh, images uh, also png or jpeg so here i use the png it's in the same root directory so after that i use the second create this one is all the font awesome key is the name of the process stage and value is a font awesome or any image which is stored in the uh, once you drag this uh, activity the stage change activity you can observe the properties so here is the stage index you have to give the stage index if any anyone stage index or stage name directly you can type text box and the stage what is currently it is in progress so so the robot here is a i dictionary object and here is a tooltip you can mention so if you see here once i get all the values in the for each loop i mentioned the stage so tooltip so see reading i dot to string mails out of mail count so this is how the it will keep on changing the stages so like this for delay i use like this so this is how it will work so the main features of that robotic process flow diagram is a reusable custom activity so dynamical process flow you can add any number of uh, process flows and it run it supports the font or some icons as well as the uh, any it 
PNG, JPG files, and you can monitor the the flow of the robot from the remote mission because it is a dot HTML page. You can I mean host this HTML page into the uh, IIS or share that folder. You can access from the remotely shared drive and tooltip for each stage. You can change the tooltip continuously supports the name and index either name you can use an index you can use these are all the so these are all the stages these three stages you can change so those three stages the colors everything it will change automatically thanks for watching